Hi, my name is Dr. Schweinsgruber from ordinaryviews.org and today we want to talk a little bit about the KB Ear KS2 earphone. No, this will not be your usual review. This will be a discussion of what uh, our, our web reviewers have done and uh, whether it's worth your while buying yet another $23 earphone. So first of all, this is a, um, let's just have a look again. This is a one plus one uh, driver earphone. So it's got one uh, dynamic driver for the low end and um, a uh, balanced armature driver for the um, mids and uh, upper end. And uh, it retails at about $23 and uh, there's of course a lot of these earphones around and uh, this from the build it really reminds everybody of the Knowledge Zenith suite of which I bought about uh, 20 in my lifetime and they're all disappeared in a drawer so why should this end up differently? Anyway, um, you find underneath uh, this uh, image, you find uh, the reviews written by myself, uh, Basking Shark and Loomis Johnson. The company KB Ear sent all of us, well, six of us or so, sent um, unsolicited a, a unit uh, of this earphone for review. First of all, let's just check um, what it actually um, looks like and this is a frequency response graph what you see here is frequency from 20 to 20,000 Hertz um, plotted against uh, decibels so quantity so the higher the graph the more sound the more quantity of sound you get at uh, any given frequency uh, and obviously you see that you have a minimum a trough right here and that's the that's the mid-range and that's bad because it means that your vocals sound distant and you also see you've got a very elevated uh, bass area here we talk about this uh, in a second and you see you've got also an elevated um, upper mid-range and lower treble and that's why we call this um, v-shaped now what do what did the let's just see whether it stands by itself what did the reviewers write okay i was the first guy to receive this and uh, uh i noticed and it's really good it's an impressive impressive sound stage it's really really tall which is very rare for cheap earphones it's wide and it's got good depth that's fantastic and it's got a good detail resolution and that's pretty much where it where it stops um the bass is okay, but because the big push comes more from the very low end, from the sub bass, um, it can be blunt and dry. It's not very, it doesn't have, it's not very articulate. It, the punch is just too low. On the other hand, it doesn't really drill your ear uh, drums. And the other thing which I didn't like that much is the timber. Well, it's okay for rock music, pop music, but. So some of the classical uh, uh, instruments, it's not just that great. Now, what did our coffee guy say? Coffee or Kaya, the cup of coffee guy, he didn't really write his own review. He never does, by the way. He's more of, uh, the guy for the uh, technical articles. He said it's too much bass. Well, you could, uh, you could uh, sort of support this. I didn't hear that, actually, because I think that my ears don't cover that uh, that front vent that well. So that's also a different fit for different people. So for me, it was not too bassy. For Copy or Kaya, it was bassy. And of course, he uh, decries the, what he calls the etched upper mid-range. It's not that bad, but it's borderline going towards being shouty. Biodegraded, another guy who rarely writes a review, but if he does, he's very critical. He also says it's too much bass and it's too much upper mid-range. And he is uh, asking or wondering why anybody would need another $23 earphone, considering that um, K Bear have recently released uh, the KB04, which is a decent earphone with a very good metal build, at just $5 or so more. 
And then there was um, Loomis Johnson, and then there was Basking Shark, and Basking Shark, you know, Loomis Johnson next. Loomis says it's a nicely rounded sound, sound stage and it's a good treble extension, but these earphones are not made for critical listening. Well, obviously for $23. And he finds them inessential because it's cheap plastic, it's imprecise imaging, um, he doesn't like the bass, it's too throbbing and too deep, so obviously his ears don't like the bass. The mids are recessed, treble is inoffensive, and he records the occasional shrewdness. And last but not least, our second uh, Singaporean basking shark thinks that they um, have a good technical performance. That's what essentially almost everybody else said. A good sound stage, good instrument separation and detail. He doesn't think they're shouty. Biodegraded don't think they're overly shouty. Even if you take out the bass by drilling a hole in the membrane of the front vent, which please don't do that because then you avoid your warranty. And he also thinks that the mids are too recessed and uh, the timber is not the uh, non plus ultra, it's not the best one. So now let's just have a look and compare the graph to one that looks actually, at least on paper, quite good. And what you see here in red is the uh, graph of the Tin Hi Fi T2 Plus. That's actually a very a tonally accurate earphone that just lacks a little bit of oomph. It's, uh, it's of pizzazz. It's a little bit polite, but it's overall really good. And you see the difference in bass. You see blue, that's the KS2, much more bass. It's much flatter here, although people still think that's a lot of bass. We are uh, sitting in the same area in the mid-range. That's where the vocals are. And again, in the upper mid-range, you see that red is way below blue. And that means it's much easier on, on the ear. So, remains the question, who actually needs this earphone? And the answer is, well, not the expert, not the, not the uh, experienced and savvy hobbyist. This earphone is good for people who have a small budget and who do gaming, because it has a very good resolution and a very good, uh, very good spatial cues. And um, people who haven't made up their mind what they like. Uh, yet in terms of signature and so this is actually a decent because it's got decent uh, resolution and, and, and imaging uh, staging rather not, not so much imaging but anybody who already has had the drawer full of 50 of them like I did when I started reviewing um, you don't need them anyway uh, that's it for the KB uh, ear KS2 uh, please uh, uh, look uh, below this uh, image and um, and subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. We are growing. So visit our blog. Push the little bell so that uh, you get notifications sent. And uh, if you think you save money by our analysis at audioreviews.org, please uh, just push the pay PayPal button and give us a, a small donation. We don't like Patreon. Patreon. We don't want to be depending on anybody. Also, Patreon takes 8% of your money, and that's a ripoff. We don't like ripoff. We are critical, and we are just in it for the hobby. I thank you very much for your attention. I am Dr. Schweinsgruber in Calgary, Alberta, Canada.